Hey everybody, and Tony here with my review of Lieder und Dichter, die deutsche Tradition, with pianist John Parr, speaker Thomas Kunst, lyric soprano Florina Stucki, lyric tenor Attilio Glaser, and lyric baritone Philipp Jekal, which I saw at the Deutsche Oper Berlin. And this Liederabend also included works composed by Richard Strauss, Max Rega, and Philipp Mainz. I was quite excited to check out this Liederabend at the Deutsche Oper Berlin because there were three singers whose careers I've been following for quite some time, with Attilio Glaza being the tenor I've been following the most, and Florina Stucki and Philipp Jekal being a close second. Furthermore, aside from pieces composed by Richard Strauss and Max Rega that I was quite excited to go to, there was also one modern composer who was there tonight, and his name was Philipp Mainz, with his composition Wind Inres. And I thought that this lead cycle, which I will talk about much later when I talk about Philipp Jekal, was quite interesting. But first, my thoughts on the singers individually. Starting off with Florina Stucki in her chosen songs, Ständchen by Richard Strauss, as well as Führings Gedränge, and Max Rega's Fünf Neue Kinderlieder, from Wiegenlied to Bitter, and back to Richard Strauss with the Georgina, Befreit, and Malfen, I thought that her voice was absolutely fine and way better than when I heard her as Chrysotemis. When I heard her as Chrysotemis, I thought that she was overparted in that particular role and I thought that she was not doing any favors for her naturally beautiful and fine full lyric soprano voice. But as I heard her tonight, I thought that her voice was in much better condition and I highly recommend that Florina Stucki remains within the full lyric soprano repertoire so that her career can last for decades because that is where her strengths really are especially evidenced by her blazing top and solid middle and some chest tones that do need a little bit of work but otherwise a solid instrument given the right material that she has to work with. Her biggest highlights for me were Ständchen, in which she was able to be lyrical and lovely, and even work through those delicate and gentle passages, but also make her voice ring throughout the hall with beauty and clarity. Frühlingsgedränge, in which her clarity in terms of her top notes and middle notes were in full evidence, as well as the complete Fünf neue Kinderlieder by Max Rega, in which she was able to use her strengths to her advantage and make such a strong impression in all of these songs. And out of all the other Richard Strauss songs that she sang, I definitely loved Malfen and Befreit the most, especially Befreit because she was able to imbue that particular lead with so much beauty, so much pathos, and the natural lyricism that made that piece stand out so well. So while she does need to work on her chest tones a lot more and make them fuller and richer, her instrument was otherwise solid if she is given the right material, and the lyric soprano repertoire, as well as Lida by Strauss, and anything that is good for her voice are definitely the way to go. So I still have to give Florina Stucki loads of credit for what she was able to accomplish tonight and how she was able to make great use of her natural full lyric soprano voice, complete with her blazing top, gorgeous middle tones, and solid chest tones to make each song that she sang come to life. The standout tonight was indubitably the fabulous lyric tenor Attilio Glaza. And boy, did I see him go from strength to strength ever since I first saw him barely eight to nine years ago. For starters, his voice continued to grow in virility, great coordination between head voice and chest voice, and even sufficient squilo, especially in the lyric tenor repertoire. Yes, when I heard him as Gabriele Adorno, I thought he was really good, but 
I think that his strengths serve the lyric tenor repertoire very well given the material that he worked with. There was no shadow of a doubt that I loved his renditions of Freundliche Vision and Liebes Hymnus. And I also loved his rendition of Heimliche Aufforderung just the same. But it was Cecilia in which he was able to shine the most with brilliance, charisma, virile handsomeness, and loads of masculine charm that just made my heart melt every time he opened his mouth to sing. And he not only hit those high notes with a positively incensed, virile, and handsome abandon, he also had superb coordination of head voice and chest voice, especially where his beautiful chest voice was concerned when he hit those lower notes, and when he also put in that great coordination to fantastic use. So Atilio Glaza was definitely the gentleman who stole the show for the evening, and I have to give my hat off to him for what he was able to accomplish, complete with beautiful tones and phenomenal musicianship that made me salute him from beginning to end. Philip Yekal was a fine lyric baritone given the material that he worked with in Philip Mainz's Wind Endless. He emitted that mysterious vocal quality that Mainz composed in the minor key as well as how he used those dissonances to make those pieces have a sense of not only mystery but also a sense of dark curiosity of what the lyrical eye is singing about. And the fact that Philip Yekal also made fine use of Reina Maria Rilke's text also showed how he was able to understand the lyrical eye's situation, as well as make equally fine use of his vocal resources to make the four songs in Wind Inres come to life. I thought he was at his strongest in Urne Frucht Knoten, in which he was able to bring in that command in his voice so well. Yes, it does lack the rounder, richer, and more squillo y tones of his predecessors, such as Willi Domgraf Fassbender, Gerhard Husch, Alfred Pöhl, Hermann Prey, and Tom Kraus, but I still encourage Philipp Jekal to develop his chest tones and develop the richness of his voice in the most natural way possible, because he does have a fine instrument that he can work with, as well as equally good material as a lyric baritone. I cannot forget the beautifully committed piano playing that John Parr had to muster to emit each of the main singer's own unique beauty and charm to each of the songs that they sang. And I thought that he was superb all the way through. And I also dare not forget about Thomas Kunst's Down to Earth and really natural delivery when he was reading his texts. And even when he introduced them, he also had that natural and really witty sense of humor that made him charming. And when he read his texts, it almost felt like he was communicating to us, the audience, in a very intimate manner rather than just go completely all out with his voice with wild gestures. Mr. Kunst did a fine job in terms of involving us, the audience, along in a conversation in terms of what his first person narrator perceives and takes in from the world around him. So I also have to give Mr. Kunst loads of props for what he was able to deliver. And overall, this was definitely a fine evening for Lida as well as Red Text because John Parr's fabulous piano playing, Florina Stucki's beautiful and steely lyric soprano voice with her ever-reliable top, Atilio Glaza's powerful, strong, and absolutely virile full lyric tenor voice, Philip Yeka's steady lyric baritone voice, and Thomas Kunst imbuing his text with a sense of personal intimacy to us, the audience, were all outstanding attributes that made tonight's Lieder und Dichter Deutsche Tradition concert worth listening to. And for those of you who caught Lieder und Dichter, the Deutsche Tradition at the Deutsche Oper Berlin, what'd you think of it? Did you feel that Florina Stucki, Atilio Glaser, and Philipp Jekal did absolutely fine jobs in their respective songs? 
Did you feel like there was a singer you really loved the most, whether it was Florina Stucki, Atelio Glaza, or Philip Yekal? Or did you feel like the singing was not to your liking? Please comment below and let me know. Well, that's it for my review of Lieder und Dichter, die deutsche Tradition at the Deutsche Oper Berlin. Tune in tomorrow for my review of Mozart's Idomeneo at the Staatsoper unter den Linden. So until then, good night everybody.